This video is going to talk about how to find the equation of a parabola or a quadratic given three points. So my first step is going to be to take those three points and substitute them into the general form of a quadratic equation, which was given in the problem. Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. So my first point is 1, negative 1. So remember that a coordinate point is X comma Y. So I'm going to substitute into that equation. So negative 1 equals A times 1 squared plus B times 1 plus C. If I simplify this, I'm going to end up with negative 1 equals A plus B plus C. My next step is to take the second point and substitute in. So my second point is 3 comma 23. So I'm going to repeat this process plugging in for X and Y. So 23 equals A times 3 squared plus B times 3 plus C. If I simplify this, I'll end up with 23 equals 9A plus 3B plus C. And then I'm going to do it one last time with that point negative 1, 7. So 7 equals A times negative 1 squared plus B times negative 1 plus C. Simplifying this equation, we end up with 7 equals A minus B plus C. And just to keep ourselves organized, I'm going to go back and label these as equation number 1, equation number 2, and equation number 3. I have three equations and I have three variables, which means I'm going to go ahead and solve a three variable system. So I'm going to start by taking equations 1 and 2, stacking them together, and eliminating one of the variables. If we take a look at these three equations, the letter C is going to be the easiest to eliminate because there are no coefficients for C. So once again, I'm taking equation 1 and equation 2, and I'm going to eliminate C. So negative 1 equals A plus B plus C. And then 23 equals 9A plus 3B plus C. So right now, I don't have the ability to cancel the C's because they're both positives. So I am going to multiply my top equation by a negative 1. That gives me 1 equals negative A minus B minus C. My second equation is unchanged. 23 equals 9A plus 3B plus C. At this point, I have a positive C and a negative C, so they can cancel. So I'm going to add my two equations together. 1 plus 23 gives me 24. Negative A plus 9A is 8A. Negative B plus 3B is 2B. And as I said, my C's cancel. So I'm left with an equation that still has an A and a B. So I'm going to go and I'm going to take equations 2 and 3 from the top and repeat this process. So equations 2 and 3, and I'm going to eliminate C once again. So equation 2 was 23 equals 9A plus 3B plus C. And then equation 3 was 7 equals A minus B plus C. My C's do not automatically cancel because they're both positives, so I'm going to multiply by a negative 1. In the first set, I multiplied the top equation by a negative 1. In this set, I'm multiplying the bottom. It does not matter. It's up to you. So my top equation remains unchanged. My bottom equation, I'm multiplying each piece by negative 1. So negative 7 equals negative A plus B minus C. And now I'm ready to add my two equations together. 23 plus negative 7 gives me 16. 
9a plus negative a gives me 8a, 3b plus b gives me 4b, and the c's cancel. So now I have a second equation with a's and b's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those two equations that have two variables and I'm going to solve that system for a or for b. So my first equation is 24 equals 8a plus 2b and my second equation is 16 equals 8a plus 4b. Right now nothing cancels but my 8a and my 8a could as long as one of them was negative. So I'm going to multiply the bottom by a negative 1. So my top equation remains unchanged, 24 equals 8a plus 2b. The bottom equation is being multiplied by negative 1. So negative 16 equals negative 8a minus 4b. I'm now ready to add these two equations together. When I do that, I'm going to get 8 equals my 8a's are going to cancel a negative 2b. I'm going to divide by negative 2 on both sides, so b equals negative 4. Now remember, I need a, b, and c. If you have a three variable system, you need all three letters. So I'm going to take that 16 equals 8a plus 4b equation and I'm going to substitute in b as negative 4. So 16 equals 8a plus 4 times negative 4. So I get 16 equals 8a minus 16. I'm going to add 16 to both sides. 32 equals 8a. Divide both sides by 8. So a equals 4. Once again, I need three variables. I have a and I have b. So now I need to go ahead and find c. In order to do that, I'm going to go all the way back to one of my first equations. And I'm going to use equation 1. It doesn't matter. You can use equation 2 or equation 3, as long as you're using one that has all three variables. So we know a is 4. We know b is negative 4. So I have 4 minus 4, which is 0. So 0 plus c equals negative 1 which means c equals negative 1. So now I found all three variables, a, b, and c. But remember, the question didn't ask you to solve a system of equations. The question asked you to write the equation of a parabola, and it gave you the general form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So I'm going to substitute in those three values y equals 4x squared minus 4x minus 1. So there's the equation of your parabola, which is your final answer. If you wanted to check this, you have two options on your calculator. You could go to y equals, type in this equation we just created, hit second graph to take a look at your table, and check that all three points that were given are in your table of values or you can do quadratic regression. There's another video on quadratic regression if you wanted to review that to learn how to check your answer.